Hello, good morning. Another lovely day here in the Philippines. All the dogs roaming around and the pussycats everywhere. People ready sweeping the wall, sweeping up there near the wall there. Guys, please get some brain cells working. You know, you guys plan on coming here to the Philippines. Why? Relationships, a new start in life, the great opportunity to achieve what you might not have maybe achieved overseas on a very limited budget or maybe a bit of savings and the budget, maybe coming from a pension, government pension or private pension, no matter what. But this is what you are obsessed with. This. See this? Okay, it's got plants all over it, growing long beans. But this is what you're obsessed with. Land. Land ownership. Wow. Got to have land ownership. Why? Why? Why do you need land ownership? I thought you came here for the love of your life. The woman that you want to share the rest of your dying days with. And... You still obsess, oh, foreigners, we can't own land. My goodness, is that right? Okay, I agree. The Philippines doesn't allow foreigners to own land. But why the obsession? In Europe, take Germany as an example. Germany is full of people planning their lives to live there happiness with their newfound love and therefore you would think they would be buying land and building houses just like we did but why are there germans miserable because they have a love of their life and they don't have the ownership of the land do you realize that most germans actually rent all their lives they rent they even don't even own the light fittings in a house everything has to start from scratch each time they change tenants their whole life is based upon that think of the money they save by not owning the land oh well i know you'll say they're not saving money of course they're not because they're not owners well I've got news for you guys. Even in London, even in Australia, you rent or you buy a leasehold property. Why? Because the land is so expensive and therefore it's easier to lease for 99 years with a right of renewal or 50 years with a right of renewal. Even banks lend money against leasehold properties every day there's never a big problem with a leasehold property people get married they have a leasehold property oh my god are we going to say that in London and in Germany there's no such thing as owning your land yes you can if you're a multi-millionaire but otherwise you lease it just like you can in the Philippines. And don't tell me that piece of paper for a lease is not worth the land or the money that's been spent creating it. Because the reality is, leasehold is part of life. The fact that you can't have ownership, but remember, the love of your life can own that land. So you've got the best of both worlds. You can lease it while you're alive, and after that, who gets it but the love of your life? Come on guys, wake up. Stop focusing on what you greedily might say. I can't own land. My life in the Philippines is disaster because I can't own land. Well, I've got news for you guys. Your wife can. Yes, she can take you to the cleaners just like the one in the West did. But you have the love of your life. You're working hard, building your relationship up so it lasts for 20 or 30 years. 
well after you're dead. So come on, if you like this video, give us a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and you have a great day.